Hi everybody, in this video, I will show how do we register the add-in in SharePoint. Let's look into it and let's follow all the required steps to register the add-in. So let's go to the browser and let's hit all the URLs one by one to make it success. So the first is to create a new application. So I'm hitting my URL here, like this is my taxepper.sharepoint.com. And then here I have a taxepper is my site. So site slash taxepper. So when you hit by ending site slash taxepper, so it will take you to a guide using which you can register. So let's say my test app and domain name, you can say localhost.com. And here you can put HTTPS local host.com and let's say create after you create you will see the another page where you will find out client id and client secret so keep it at some place which you would be needing to call fine so let me copy this okay no problem okay so after you do this guys you will be landed to the settings page and then second step would be to give the required permission so to give the required permission i again call another url it would be dot xpx give me one minute okay so here is my url so that will ask me the app id that has been created earlier let me enter that here and then look up which will look up all your details using that client id and will provide title app domain and then redirect url and here you have to provide permission or to this add-in so i am going to provide the full access here but you can give another access like manage also okay and let's say create after you create it will ask you to trust this app and let's say trust that is the second step. Third is to get the tenant. So again, you can get the tenant from here itself, app principles.axpx. And here, after this, whatever string it is, it would be your resource or called tenant ID, which would be required while generating the auth token. So guys, that's all about this. And then you can register that add in very easily now. I hope you find this useful. Thank you. Bye bye.